guys, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Conan and today I'm gonna be taking you guys through my entire morning routine. So let's get into it. So every single morning, the first and most important thing I do is wake up. Now I'm very fortunate in that I don't really need an alarm to get up because I'm naturally a morning person, which means that I naturally get up like quite early. So I've been averaging around 6.30ish every single morning. So um, yeah, I don't really need an alarm to like wake me up in the morning, which I'm really happy about because I know waking up with an alarm is like pretty daunting, like it kind of sucks. Like whenever I hear the alarm sound, I just get like... It just reminds me of like bad times. Like, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, I don't need an alarm. I just get up, not whenever, but like I get up as soon as I wake up, if that makes sense. And what I do is I'll go to the bathroom, I go pee, and then I'll brush my teeth as well. And then after that, this is something new I've actually been doing, but that is taking showers. And not just any type of showers. You already know, this wouldn't be a morning routine without me taking cold showers. There's just something about like morning routines and cold showers that go like hand in hand, like super, super well. It seems like everyone does them. I used to not really be a big fan of taking cold showers, especially in the morning because I never really take showers in the morning I always take them at night before going to sleep but I'm um, now I take two showers a day I'll take one in the morning a cold shower and then one after my workout because I hate going to bed being super sweaty so yeah anyway I take my cold shower which um, surprise surprise is very cold and very uncomfortable but I do see why people do them and why people recommend other people to do them because it's like first thing in the morning you're super tired the last thing you want to do is take a cold shower so what you do go take a freaking cold shower I mean taking cold showers although I know it probably has a couple good benefits to it but it's simply like the act of like doing something that is so uncomfortable that gives you the most benefits right because like doing that first thing in the morning set yourself up to have like a super good rest of your day right because knowing that you've taken a cold shower which again is something that no one wants to do no one in their right mind wakes up every single morning excited to take a cold shower like no no one, no one that I know of at least does that. Like if you do, like you're probably super weird. Like you probably are. And I feel comfortable saying that because you most likely are. Anyway, about the cold shower, like knowing you've done something that is so daunting to you, pretty much set yourself up to have a super good rest of the day. And it's just overall a really good start to the day. So once that super hard challenging task of the day is done, everything for the rest of the day is pretty much just downhill from there, which is super nice, right? So yeah. So I don't do this every single morning, but as you guys can tell I'm actually starting to get some facial hair finally right so um yeah I'm actually gonna shave right now too pretty impressive man it's coming in it's coming in nicely <laughs> Once the cold shower is done, I actually have a skincare system now as well from Tej Hanley. And it's actually pretty cool because they include this card that actually shows you how to use their products. So as you guys can see here, in the morning it says rinse your face with warm water, rub, wash all over, then rinse again. Twice a week, massage, scrub into your face, then rinse. Number three, spread super serum evenly to your face, then give it a second to dry. Number four, dab eyes around evenly, focusing on the delicate skin below your eyes and the outer corners near your temples. Number five, cover your face evenly with AM moisturizer. Okay, now that is what you call a skincare system. Wow, I feel so much better right now. It just feels really good to have like a skincare system because you feel so like fresh after taking them and just kind of feel like you did something right with your skin. And it just feels good to like take care of your entire body, whether it be shaving, eating healthy, or clipping your nails, or just taking care of like your entire body. It just makes you feel good because if you look good, you feel good. Like the two and two correlates really, really well. So I highly encourage you guys to like, just take care of yourself. Shave, make sure you shower, make sure you're nice and clean, make sure you have a nice skincare system, make sure you clip your nails, make sure you just do everything. I should probably work on my haircut as well, but I've been intentionally growing it out. So um, yeah, please don't say anything about my hair. But anyway, I'll take care of yourself because you'll feel so much better. After that, I'll go back to my room, I'll put on my clothes and then I'll do some journaling and practice some gratitude. So um, yeah, this is something I've been doing for a couple of years now. It's just super, easy it's like a habit now I don't second guess it I just do it and it just again puts me in a good mood kind of write a list of things down that you're grateful for it could be anything right it's like today I was grateful that um, what was I grateful for 
I mean, again, it could be anything, right? But I was grateful that I was able to make YouTube videos. I was grateful that I was able to live in Texas. I was grateful that I was healthy. I was grateful that I get to eat tasty foods. That's actually a pretty common thing I'm grateful for. Like I always write down something about food, which is quite funny, but I'm actually just so grateful that I get to like eat foods every single day that are not only healthy, but they're so tasty. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen my diet lately, but like my diet has been so freaking, I've just been loving it to be honest. Like I'm eating foods that are healthy and are helping me reach my goal and are super tasty. I mean like, what more could you ask for? So that was something I was grateful for. And then there was one more thing, which I forget now, but anyway, it could be anything, right? So I would highly encourage you guys to like practice some gratitude because um, again, it just puts you in a more gratifying mood, if that's even a word, is gratifying a word. And then after that, I'll take my morning supplements. So I just take fish oil and a multivitamin. And then along with that, I'll drink two cups of water, which equals out to about one liter. So um, yeah, always make sure you drink a big glass of water upon waking up before you even think about drinking your coffee or eating food because obviously when you're sleeping you're not drinking so um, yeah you're like super dehydrated so always make sure you drink pretty much as much water as you can once you wake up because obviously when you're sleeping you're not drinking and when you wake up you're like super dehydrated so always make sure you drink as much water as you possibly can two of these is about a liter so i'll have two of these then as you guys know i go into the kitchen and then make myself a nice big black cup of coffee you guys know the drill no sugar no cream just plain black cup of coffee i prefer it this way it is super tasty i really like it. it puts me in a really good mood helps me go to the bathroom makes me super productive gives me energy what more could you ask for just the best probably not the best beverage ever but it's like among the top three i would say so yeah have my cup of coffee while doing some work on the computer i'll do that for about an hour or two and then i'll finally eat some breakfast Ooh, that's good one of the things i try not to do at least for the first 30 minutes upon waking up is checking my phone because like this thing like I don't even sleep in the same room as her. Like, I don't even do it anymore because I'm um, like, as soon as I opened up my phone and I see a single notification, whether it's good or bad, my mind just automatically goes to it and like wants to solve a problem. Like, for example, if it's like a text message and it's like very important, it's like the first thing I do when I see it is like, oh, I gotta handle this. And it's like, you're putting all this necessary stress on your brain, like first thing in the morning, which is so bad. I used to get up every single morning and like the first thing I did was like scroll over to my phone and like check all my notifications, which is like the worst thing you could possibly do. Like, don't do that. I keep all my digital stuff in the office room away from my bedroom just so I have no distractions when I sleep so my computer my camera and my phone all in a separate room just so I don't see it I'm not tempted to look at it so yeah first 30 minutes fun waking up I don't even look at it either it sounds kind of hard when you're not used to it but um, it's actually not too bad like especially when you like have like a whole morning routine like I just showed you guys when you like shower brush your teeth put your clothes on meditate journal make your coffee stuff like that right like 30 minutes flies by pretty quickly and then once you are nice and settled in you've kind of done all your kind of morning routine stuff then you can like check your phone anyway we're gonna drink our coffee and then do some work on the computer So as you guys know, I tend not to be the biggest breakfast type either, but that's gonna change because I'm gonna start to force myself to eat an earlier breakfast just so I don't have to be in a situation where it's 8 p.m., I've only eaten like a thousand calories and I have to eat like 2,000 calories to make up for it, right? Like I say this in every single video and um, these past couple of days I've tried to eat an early breakfast because I noticed that if I eat an early breakfast, my appetite starts to pick up again and then um, getting my meals in is a lot easier. So we're starting off today with an early breakfast so let's make some breakfast so usually i like to eat some oatmeal for breakfast but today i decided to be a bit more adventurous and switch it up to some cream of rice yes we are switching it up today so um yeah pretty much the same type of thing just a different consistency so yeah cream of rice with some protein sludge on top and that is going to be breakfast all right guys here's the breakfast now i know what you're thinking conan where is the fruit in this meal what's wrong with you guys do not worry stop stressing out this is all part of the plan because um on the next clip i got a little surprise for you guys so stay tuned before i show you guys what the surprise is i will be adding some ground cinnamon to this meal i add cinnamon to pretty much every single one of my meals it's super good for you it helps regulate blood sugar and um, overall, it's just a really great addition to pretty much every single one of your 
favorite meals. So um, yeah, if you like cinnamon, definitely take advantage of it and add it to whatever meal you can. Okay, so before we head over to the gym, my tripod actually broke the other day. Like the top part here actually like just fell off somehow. I'm not sure how, like I put it in my bag the other day and then when I took it out, it just came out like this somehow. So anyway, I got myself a new tripod at Walmart yesterday. So got this thing, it's called a Focus. It's called Focus. But anyway, like, I did not know how freaking big this thing was. So here's what it looks like. So here's the box, and that's the entire tripod. I mean, this is like five foot six, so it's like, it's pretty big and it's pretty high and it takes up like a lot of space as well. I'm gonna be bringing this thing to the gym with me. So um, yeah, if you guys enjoy the workout footage, please be sure to go give this video a thumbs up because um, I'm gonna look like an absolute fool with this massive thing. I mean, it's hard to tell like on camera, but like this thing is huge. It's pretty much like a second person, right? So yeah, we're gonna be filming our workout today. But um, yeah, just give this video a thumbs up. Just, just please do. Ooh, ooh, my car smells nice and clean. I put one of these car freshener things in my car yesterday. It smells really nice in here. Never had one of those before. It's actually really cool. Anyway, so we're about to head over to the gym. And what I'm about to share with you guys is something I've wanted to do for a very long time. I think it's been well over a year now since I've been wanting to do this. And um, I am very excited. So basically what we're gonna do is I got my normal pre-workout right here. This is the non-stim realm by Cloud Power. I'm gonna be doing this and instead of adding water to this, which is what regular people would do, right? But I saw this I don't even think it's a trend anymore, but I saw this thing on TikTok literally this time last year, like last summer. And um, I've always wanted to do it. And I told myself, Conan, you are going to do this one day, but I never ended up doing it for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. I just kept forgetting. But um, today is the day that I will be trying this alongside some watermelon. And now you can do this with either pineapple, yeah, I think it's either pineapple or watermelon. I think those are the only two fruits that go along. So basically we're gonna add one scoop of realm to this pre-cut watermelon. We're gonna mix it up, mix it together, and then we're gonna eat the watermelon with this on top. And uh, it just sounds amazing. So we're gonna try it. So I'm gonna open it up. One scoop, oh, if I don't spill this. One scoop, oh, I already spilled some. One scoop of realm going into the watermelon. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top. That looks so sus. That looks so weird, I mean. <laughs> That actually looks really funny. All right, so we got it right on top of here. Looks very weird, I must admit, but um, we're gonna trust the process. I'm just gonna shake it up. Oh, it's spilling. That's not a good sign. Should have brought a fork with me too, because my hands are gonna be all sticky. But here we have it, the final product. Pre-workout coated watermelon. Here we have it. This looks very weird, to be honest. I don't even know if this is gonna taste good. Here we have it. Yo, low-key, that's pretty good. It's actually really good, man. Wow, it definitely tastes like watermelon, but it has the hints of like the rocket pop flavor. Mmm, that is delicious. Wow, highly recommend, guys, try this out. That's really good. So we're gonna eat this right now, and then we're gonna smash our legs. Alrighty guys, we are back with another commentary, so I'm gonna run you through my entire leg workout. So as you guys know, I have two separate leg workouts that I'll do in a week. So one will be more quad dominant, which is the first workout I'll do in a week. And then this is my second leg workout of the week, which is more hamstring dominant. So as you guys know, whatever type of muscle group you're focusing on, make sure you always do that muscle group first while you're still fresh and just full of energy, right? Because it absolutely makes no sense if I were to call this a hamstring focused leg workout and I started with like squats, then leg press, then leg extensions, then lunges, and then do hamstrings. I mean, that would make absolutely no sense. So again, I know I keep saying this, but I can't emphasize this enough. Whatever muscle group you're focusing on, do that while you are still fresh. So as you guys can tell here, we are starting with some Romanian deadlifts. And over the course of these past couple of months, if not years, I've developed such a good mind-muscle connection with this exercise because I used to do this exercise like a couple of years ago. And um, obviously like I thought that it hit my hamstrings really, really good. But then I woke up the next day and like, my hamstrings will not be sore at all. And I just wake up with a super sore lower back all the time. And I always thought to myself, like, why is this happening? How is this, why is this the case? And um, number one is because I went way too heavy. Um, I was doing like 275 and um, like, I wish I had a video of it, but um, yeah, like I was bending my knees a lot. It was pretty much just like a conventional deadlift, like a touch and go conventional deadlift, which, um, I mean, sure, obviously your hamstrings will be involved somewhat, but I'm really like focusing on your technique and again, really developing that mind-muscle connection. It's such a bro science explanation, but it makes so much sense. Like whatever muscle group you really wanna focus on, really 
try to feel like you're in that muscle, if that makes sense, right? Like you really wanna feel your muscles being worked. You wanna feel the stretch, you wanna feel the squeeze, you wanna feel everything about it when you're doing that exercise. So um, yeah, like I said, I used to do these with like 275 with terrible form. Then over these past couple of months, I've really tried to like nail down my technique. So um, obviously I did have to drop the weight and then I have to slowly work my way up again. So um, definitely it did take a big hit on my ego, but it's definitely worth it. If you struggle feeling the muscles being worked with an exercise, um, definitely don't be scared to drop down the weight, really focusing on using proper technique, proper form, and then you can slowly work your way up again. So I'm back to doing 245 now again, which I'm really happy with, with much better form and much better technique. Then to give our hamstrings a quick little break we moved on to some calves so these are some seated calf raises nothing really much to say here um, I did add my intensity technique here so some my reps so basically I did 15 reps on my first set and then for my four other sets I tried to match that again so so yeah a couple mini sets um, you can call these mountain sets as well so it's basically when you have just like a rep goal number so let's say it's 15 in my case and then you're gonna do however many mini sets it takes for you to get that 15 rep goal now obviously your first set you should be able to get that goal then for your following couple sets um obviously when fatigue starts to kick in you most likely won't be able to hit that in one single set at least if you're training hard enough right fatigue should kick in so it should take you about two to three mini sets in order to hit that 15 rep goal then from going to hamstrings to calves we are going to quads now so these are the hack squats um i really like this specific squat variation obviously there's so many different squat variations you can do so any leg pressing movement would really be sufficient here so um, yeah if you don't have access to this machine you can do like a leg press or any type of squat variation from squat, hack squats, goblet squats, back squats. There's so many squats out there guys. So um, even lunges, Bulgarian split squats, those are great as well. So um, yeah, whatever type of leg pressing movements is great for your quads. Great range of motion. I always emphasize this, use proper range of motion, full realm, full range of motion. You're not impressing anyone by throwing on a bunch of plates on each side and just doing half reps. Like you should look like an idiot. Um, I'm so much more impressed when I see someone do like full reps with like full proper technique and full range of motion with lighter loads than someone throwing on like five plates aside and doing like half reps. Like not only are you not hitting your target muscle group, which is your quads, you're putting so much unnecessary fatigue on your entire body and your connective tissue and your joints that basically like the stimulus to fatigue ratio with doing half reps is so bad as in like your fatigue is so high but your stimulus is so low and you pretty much want the exact opposite when you're training especially for hypertrophy you want your stimulus to be really high and your fatigue really low so whatever exercise can do that for you do that exercise and for most people that is an exercise that you can do comfortably with a full range of motion so full range of motion that's all i gotta say five sets here anywhere from about five to ten reps these are really really great and um, honestly, that's all you really need. So that's pretty much my entire workout. Oh, and then I did finish with some lying leg curls just to finish off the hamstrings. So because again, this is a hamstring focused leg day, um, added a bit more volume for my hamstrings as well. Just doing four sets here of um, slightly higher reps of like 10 to 15 here. That's about a team. Yeah, so I just finished my workout, just got back home. It's around one o'clock right now, so technically the morning is over. So before ending today's video, I do highly encourage you guys to have some form of a morning routine within your morning because it just sets yourself up to have a good rest of your day. I'm not necessarily telling you guys that you have to take old showers or meditate or work out or go on a jog first thing in the morning or do like some weird fasting thing. I'm not saying any of that. Just find something that you, number one, can sustain in the long term. Number two, you actually enjoy and can stick with. And number three, that actually helps you reach your future goals so if you check all those three boxes you should be well on your way to have a solid morning routine so with that said if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to go give this video a thumbs up i would highly appreciate it subscribe to my channel if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace out.